Hello. This is just um, one of the my tiny tips collection videos. Um, a Christian on the track actually spawned this, and that was while we're waiting for um, uh, redo here in uh, song editor. Um, what to do if you want to test uh, a special instrument in an already existing composition. Because if we take this instrument for instance as a bass and we listen to it, um, the fact is that if I, um, uh, if I drag a new instrument into this guy here to test that, take something here, just doesn't matter what we take, take something here from triple oscillator. Uh, I have a base here somewhere. Yeah, well we can use the context surf and we have a lot of bases. Like that one, for instance. Just this is just a, if I drag that into here I would have lost the settings in this preset. So um, what I like to do instead is just to do it like this. Um, I just click here at the cogwheel and choose clone this track. It's clone. Then I mute this track and I go down to this place. Now this is a clone of the track I didn't want to lose. So now I can drag this base into here, this preset, and I can listen to if that base is better. Nah, it's not. So I'll just uh, remove it, and I'll close this and say I'm happy with what I had, and I will enable that guy again. Nothing lost, all change has been reverted and I'm ready to do something else or save it or whatever. Very simple. It's not even a trick, it's just a workflow. Okay, tiny tip. Done. See you next time. Bye bye.